Sam tells the press he has a chance here to say that Nemesis saved him and just blow people's minds. So he had a chance to take that monologue Stallone said and challenge the public's idea of what makes a, you know, whether people are good or bad, good or evil. On the other hand, if he does that, it's going to blow Joe's cover. He'd probably have to leave town and get his face surgically changed. I don't know. So he tells people, Sam says, Samaritan saved me to the news. Huh, I got I got mixed feelings about this. What do you guys think? No, I, I, I kind of liked it uh, that he called him Samaritan. Joe, Joe is, is, is a good guy. You know, he said he was the bad guy. He, he's, he turns out to be the good guy. And that's, again, giving – by saying Samaritan lives, Samaritan saved me, it's giving the whole city hope again, which is a good thing. Had he said, yeah, Nemesis saved me, everyone's going to be like, oh, really? He's back? <clears throat> so by saying Samaritan, Samaritan was the one that everybody looked for as, as that light. And I think that was a – that's one of the reasons he did it. And I think it's also on a way to show – Joe that you know hey you're you're a good guy this is what you are now you know so I liked it I thought it was okay yeah and two you got to look at the fact that if he says Samaritan save me uh, there's going to be a lot of people expecting payback for everything he did because you know when he was the bad guy I'm sure he hurt a lot of people they didn't go deep into it I don't know if he killed what he did, I mean, he was going to blow up an entire power plant. If it's hot the next day, then a lot of people don't have air conditioning and people can die without AC. <laughs> or stuck on an elevator. <laughs> so, but in all seriousness, yeah, I think I think he kept it quiet because he knew what kind of craziness would happen if he did bring that out. And two, his name's Joe. He made up the name Nemesis, and then he became Joe again. He was no longer Nemesis. So now he is the hero, so he ne- became the Samaritan by doing what he did. He stopped the terrorists. He saved the kid. He did everything positive or as positive as he could, and uh, he is the hero. So he's no longer a Nemesis. He is now a Samaritan. Oh, he did throw that mask too. in the fire. It mm-hmm. would, he threw the nemesis mask in the yeah, fire. Yeah, he did. He threw the mask away. Yep. So this is sort yep. of a rebirth for him, which is a very spiritual okay. theme. Mm-hmm. Man, I remember feeling like robbed at the end when he tells the public that it's Samaritan that saved Sam instead of nemesis. Because I was like, oh, come on, man. Like now, now people can't grow because they're... Their unhealthy concept of good and bad is not being challenged. But I, I did get it, too, because I'm like, well, if he does say that, then, yeah, Joe's, pro- Joe's life is probably over. Like you said, people would come after him for what he'd done before. And not everybody's real good at forgiving. <laughs> you know? Oh, I mean, and that's taken place so yeah. much in history. Not even now. I mean, uh I don't know why, but my mind immediately went back to Vietnam. I mean, look at these heroes go to war. And I understand you don't agree with going to war, but because these people were drafted and volunteered and they went over there, they just immediately saw evil, even though they were doing good. So, you know, take it to the extreme times 100 with Nemesis at one point being doing what he did yeah there's still be a lot of people coming after him and a lot of people will probably be uh, justified for doing so yeah it's better just to leave nemesis dead and the rebirth of the samaritan yeah i guess i'll go with it but you know at this point like i said earlier they'd been telling the good samaritan story shockingly accurate with the shocking twist and then it's like they pulled a punch here at the end but storytelling wise okay maybe he's not nemesis anymore we're actually going to move to our own youtube channel soon we've been on the brewery ministries 
YouTube channel. And we're going to move over to a Movies Are Spiritual YouTube channel to try to take better advantage of the YouTube algorithm and reach our ideal audience who loves movies and loves finding spiritual themes in them. So be sure to add us on YouTube under Movies Are Spiritual. And we'll be back soon with some more movie reviews.